right, what's up my YouTube peeps? I haven't posted a video in months, two months, two and a half months. I've had a bunch of messages, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have not given up on the Falcon. I have not lost interest in the Falcon. Um, gonna get back working on the Falcon. So the place I work, there was a sudden retirement and it has shotgun blasted me into uh, some things that I wasn't ready for because I didn't know this person was gonna retire. But nonetheless, that is where my uh, attention has been. So my schedule changed at work, which it's prevented me from necessarily doing all the stuff I was doing or spending all the time I was spending working on the Falcon. So the Falcon project is not dead. T-shirts aren't dead, none of that stuff is. This has just been a adjustment for me that I'm trying to navigate through. And then now that it is summer or spring and times changed, it'll allow me to, sorry, it's bumpy. It'll allow me to uh, get back on the Falcon. With that being said, um, a buddy of mine from work and I are on our way to a place called Panamint City in the Panamint Mountains near Death Valley. So for the last couple years, um, I've been wanting to do this hike and I was supposed to do this with my son. I wanted to hike with him. He apparently doesn't want to do it or whatever. So in discussing this location with my coworker, he's like hey I'll do this with you so uh, today is the 20th of April and we are on our way there now it's about 11 a.m. Uh, I had to do a few things at work this morning and then head out or else we would have just headed out in the morning so this is probably a video that you guys don't want to see but uh, it's gonna be us hiking up to Panama City hanging out up there for a couple days and then when I get home on Saturday, uh, I'll include a few clips of the Falcon. Nothing's changed with it. I pushed it up to the front garage because I've had a few other things that I've worked on that I haven't filmed. I'm just helping some friends out with a few projects that are newer cars, nothing that anybody would be interested in. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will try, and try to get back to getting up videos consistently on the Falcon. So right now we're passing through the beautiful town of Trona. Sure isn't much here. I'm gonna stop in the I think there's only one store open, one convenience store. I'm gonna stop in there and grab me some caffeine. So I can get my heart cranking before we start hiking. Well, Jeff and I made it. It's like two o'clock. It's a little warm out, but we're going to try and go up. A lot of people here. All right. Here Jeff and I go. The gauntlet. Shit, we ain't even 10 minutes in. Got water. Falls. Many ones. Well, quarter mile in, first break, fat kid, but it's all good. Little, little couple minute break and we'll head on up. 
where we're breaking, you can hear the water. My feet are soaked. shit is steep you just gain elevation it's slippery Jeff he fell once because they're so slippery said I wasn't gonna get my shoes wet they're soaked uh, when he gets up here we'll figure out how far we are in I bet you we're not even a friggin mile son of a bitch it sure is easy to drink beer and eat bacon man a little harder carrying your fat ass up the hill. Hot, Jeff? We're into some drier stuff. Still good incline. More shade, Jeff. Damn GoPro or drone. I don't know how far we are, but we have a steep ass hill going up there. So Jeff and I are gonna take five or 10. My legs are wobbly. Going up there. It's about 3.40 in the afternoon. It's 5.20. The last, the last hour and a half, two hours maybe. We Jeff and I've been getting our asses completely kicked, like extremely difficult. I was wearing boots when I was training for this. Gave me a blister. Decided to wear Vans. That blister's open. It hurts like a mother. Don't know if we'll make it all the way up tonight. We got two hours of daylight left. And right now, this shit's so steep. We've been going about 100 yards and then stopping and 100 yards and stopping. It's relentless. Damn, my pack's too heavy. But if we don't make it, we're gonna find the spot, set up camp, eat, have some shots of whiskey, get some rest. Maybe get up in the morning and head up. So, just an update. 620. I'm hurting pretty good. We are, I think, close to Brewery Springs, which will let us, let me fill up my bottle. 
And then if there's somewhere to camp out, then we're gonna camp out. I'm starving. Just back there somewhere. I just filled up my bottle in this, running good. Just gonna filter his. Well, we made it to our three mile mark. And this is our camp for the night. I'm exhausted, so I don't give a shit if I'm laying on rocks. That's my blister. I'm gonna let my feet dry out. Then in the morning, I'll put a Band-Aid on it and put some dry shoes on it. But we got our fire going. I'm gonna buzz the drone up real quick and then bring it back down. It is 8.20 or 8.40. We just did a we just did a shot of whiskey. Just boiling water for his dinner. We got our fire rolling and the stars are starting to come out. Pretty awesome. I'm so beat. I'm gonna sleep really good. Trying to dry out my shoes. Not to catch the damn things on fire. Well, it's 6 a.m. The sun hasn't risen, but the sky's lit up my tent, so I woke up. Probably slept. Like an hour at a time, sleep an hour, wake up, sleep an hour, wake up. So I didn't, I didn't really rack out like I thought I would. Plus you're sleeping on the ground. But we got the fire cranking already. And we'll end up eating some breakfast and then let this fire go out and keep hitting it. Jeff's eating breakfast. I already ate my breakfast. Cooking down weight so we don't have to carry it. Well, it's 8.20. When did we leave, Jeff? 7.50-ish? Uh, eight? Maybe a little off. Maybe eight. Maybe eight o'clock, put our fire out. Came up 200 feet and then we're in the sun, so it's warm. But it is just, it's a relentless grade. Just all the way. Sun feels good, but it's hot. Stop to rest, and Jeff pointed out big old cave over there. Right, right there. Ah. <sighs> non-stop but Jeff and I have spotted the chimney for the mill <laughs> my feet are baked I got a blister starting on my right because I'm favoring my left my goal is to get up here and get a couple liters of water in me and chill out and let my feet dry out.
I'm cooked, just cooked. My feet are. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough ride back home, that's for sure. But we'll get, I wanna get to where we're going and get my feet out, dry, take a nap, and hydrate. <laughs> Camp a couple hours, talk to a few people coming down, coming up. And now we're going to find a place to get water so we can cook food, fill up our camel packs, all that shit. And it's another strenuous hike to get to it. It's just crazy that look way up there there's a road and no mine I wish I could go check it out but I've got no energy we found it I think so Oh yeah, she's full, Jeff. Wow. This thing. Hope this shit's good to drink. Filling up water. like 3 40 in the afternoon on friday i went and hacked a big old piece of wood so we can have some firewood we got some pine over there and some more really dry pine we got some good logs and then there's another couple pieces but we are just chilling out i just took a little power nap like a little 15 minute power nap i think jeff's doing the same quiet here we've only had two dudes come up and then they went past us and they're talking about going to the top of the mountain over here where the snow's at over here there's a road right there and i guess it takes you all the way back to over there i'm definitely out of uh shape but i guess that's the wyoming mine up there I ain't gonna make it up there this time. But I think I'm gonna go. I've only pissed twice today. I've been trying to pound water. Jeff and I went and got water earlier, like you saw. Um, I think I'm gonna go use the head, number two. And then I'm going to do a shoddy. But kind of cool. I walked over to the chimney earlier but I didn't have my phone pretty cool over here 
I was gonna hike to to over there. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll drop a deuce, do a shot, and then I, I think that's a mine right there. Yeah, in there. So maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, Jeff has a Garmin, so he's able to like text his wife. And then she's been texting my wife. So my daughter got her license. Ooh, I'm so proud of her. But I'm still scared. Because that's what parents do. But my daughter's got her license. Ugh. So that's kind of cool. But it's amazing how, how fast you get addicted to your phone. And how everybody's right at your fingertips. I miss my wife and kids tremendously. Uh, all I want to do for the last two years is hike up here. But truth be told, I can't wait to get home and cook breakfast Sunday morning and hang out with them. Anyhow, pretty quiet here, man. You can hear the wind going through the pines. I wish I was in, uh, I wish my feet weren't as destroyed as they are because if you're just hiking around with no pack, it's not that bad. But when you're carrying, you know, my pack was 37 pounds when we left and I got my ass handed to me, but I'd like to explore around a little more. There's a, there's a freaking generator over here. I think that's what it is. It's a Chrysler Nissan diesel generator with a supercharger on it some stuff i've never seen before i'll show you that too i'm just trying to enjoy the sun it's a little cooler here than it was down where jeff and i stayed last night so when the wind blows it's cool i'm laying on this big propane tank to warm up like a freaking lizard. It ain't that bad out. It's just when you sweat and then the breeze comes through, you get cold. But what a good day. I'm nervous for my feet on the way down too. Although you're not like trying to gain elevation, now you're trying to hold all that weight back, especially your pack. But it's going to be aight. I can't wait to get home. And take a shower. And then see my wife. Anyhow y'all. I'm going to go. Drop a deuce and then. Do a shot or two. And then I'm going to walk over to that. Cabin over there. And maybe I'll go over to the. Chimney thing. I mean I don't know how that thing's still standing. I think. Decent earthquake and that thing's coming down. It's missing some bricks. Pretty trippy. I wonder what it costs to make that thing. Man, I wonder what it costs to... To build that stone bitch whenever they built it. There's all kinds of stuff up here. Old Dodge truck. It's a trip that there was a road down there because... road anymore it's just all washed out rock anyhow catch up with you in a bit <sighs> all right did my duty so i don't know if this was just like miners homes but this concrete rock things built all around this I'm assuming at one time this was maybe like a big building and then whoever came in here later in the 70s or whatever when they were mining this stuff put all this stuff in but it's a bunch of junk old school hose bib and it's old stuff old fridges and
talc? Is that talc? I don't know what that is. Trippy. Anyhow, let's go get a shot of whiskey. And we'll go look at this little mine, and then at some point I need to get my shoes back off. My feet hurt and they're kind of wet. Give her a Coors Light and a big old giant that juicy steak. So check out this generator for all the car guys that are wondering why I'm putting this on my channel. So it's a Chrysler Nissan Diesel. Let's see what the tag says here. Rated output: 276 horsepower at 2,000 RPM. Continuous 220, 1800. But, let me go to the other side here. This thing's got a gigantic radiator on it. Any opinion? I think somebody broke this because I look in here and I don't see any problems. But, got big old supercharger right here. Bastard. Look at the exhaust. There's junk. That's probably was the diesel tank for it. There's just a bunch of junk out here. Just old junk. Oh, my stomach is warm. Big old drill bit. All right, let's go get one more shot and then we'll go over to the mine. So, this is that building where all the things are. And you see there's like little cabins. Well, the spring that Jeff and I had to go to earlier that you saw is way up here. You can see the stick I drug. But, uh, you got up that steep thing and then there's like a road and it goes all the way back to a green tank. Obviously, we have filters on our water, but I hope I don't get sick. It looks like there was a big piece of wood in there in there that's been sitting in there you could really do a lot of cleanup over here if you had some way to get some tools up here but uh anyhow climb up here and then we'll catch back up when i'm at the first little cabin uh, that track is steep but a little fat ass made it Heart ain't gave out yet, so that's a good thing. So far, just my feet, they're on strike. But here's the first little cabin. It's pretty beat up. how some people lived, man. When you want to talk about what made our country strong, <laughs> it 
with people that got their asses up here in the 1800s and freaking did work. No FMLA. You can cut your hand off. Bandage that thing up and go right back to work. It just amazes, amazes me. And today, everybody's a big old baby. Everybody's offended. Nobody wants to work for shit. It's amazing. Let's see what it took to build this country. Anyhow, here's the next one. So this one's worse than the other one. It's like really bad. Ugh. Ain't much of this one at all. But could you imagine that this is your home? You worked all day, and this is your home. I sit down here. That's your, let me show you your view. Hold on. And that's your view. That's where Jeff and I are staying. That's that building with all that stuff. There's more shit up that way. There's a cart over there. Right here. Maybe I'll get over there. I don't know. But this is your... I mean, look at the road up there. There's a road right there. There's a road cut. Just crazy, man. One way up there where you see all the tailings. But unbelievable what people did to make money and how hard they worked. <clears throat> I'm fascinated with these mines because I think it was a real tough way to earn money. And uh, Death Valley's got Death Valley this year. Is there's just so many of them. I mean, everybody was doing whatever it would take because they thought they were going to get rich. And this mine was producing a lot of silver. If you watch it on YouTube, you can see they're casting like 400 pound balls so the thieves couldn't take them. But it just amazes me. Every, this all amazes me. It's a trip. But let's keep going. You know, that could have been the, who knows, the Joneses. Who knows? You just worked your ass off. That's all you all you did. So making our way to this other mine. And it uh it looks to be in better shape, but we will see shortly. So this was a mine, but it's not. It's the trash. Son of a bitch. Tons of mines. I just ain't got the courage. No, I ain't got the horsepower to get there. But look at this thing, watch. This sucker is, you know this is old. 18, 1900s. I don't even know we can go in here. Dumb as I look, Ike. So this one's probably more wraps than the one Jeff and I are in, but there's a stove. And it's it's wobbly, like you feel like you're heading downhill. So we went ahead and left sleeping bags and stuff. Water bottle. I don't know what it is about sugar. Keep learning sugar. We left a like, food pack. Three cheese mac and cheese. Somebody left it and that made the rats run in it. So this food we've been eating, Jeff and I, the cholesterol content is freaking astronomical. Uh, 
I'm gonna need to eat clean when I get home. Although Jeff was saying, as soon as he gets the heck out of here and he finds a burger joint, he's stopping. And I think there might be one in Trona. I don't know. Gonna have to see what happens when we get out of here. But uh, let me show you these flowers. It's kind of a trip. So clearly, somebody's planted bulbs or something. That's what this is. They come back every year. Big old cactus. But look, this was somebody or something. At one time, they plant all these bulbs and they're, they're back. Tons of freaking, tons of rain. This part of the country. Last couple months. I'm gonna take this path a little further and see what happens. Jeff's taking a nap. It's all good. All right, so we hiked a, quite a ways. About even with a chimney. But if you look down there, you can see all of the, that's all foundations for buildings. So I guess in the 1800s, these, this whole area was lined with buildings. And then that stuff all over there, I guess, is from the 70s or 60s or something. That's where Jeff and I are at. close by I could go into but maybe not maybe not at all I don't know I may go a little bit more to the west and see if not like there's a ridge maybe when we're leaving and I'm not uh, huffing and puffing my fat ass I'll, I'll try and show you there's a ridge way up there there's another mine up there unbelievable Anyhow, I hope I sleep tonight. So last night I felt like I could only sleep like an hour at a time. Uh, Jeff was sawing logs pretty good. I almost recorded it. But we were in that little canyon and the wind was blowing. And it kept blowing the, the cover on my tent. Kind of couldn't get comfortable. And I would just sleep maybe an hour and then wake up. And an hour and wake up. Well, about two o'clock in the morning. No joke, no bullshit. Something was walking by my tent. Uh, I don't know if it was a coyote. It was something that was walking very cautiously and slow. It wasn't a bear, but... You know, I'm laying there like, what, is this thing gonna pounce on me or what? Does it want my freaking beef stroganoff that I got in my bag or what? And then I'd go back to sleep for an hour. And then I'd wake up. And then the freaking sun came up earlier than I thought. I think I got up at 540 which is all right, I get up early anyways, but man, I'm gonna sleep so good when I get home Saturday night. And I'll be ready to see the wife, if you know what I mean. So there's some people out there in coveted positions that are wondering how a man is a woman. I'm just over here wondering, how the heck does this big ass rock land right here? Let me let me flip this around and show you. Like, how does this big bastard get here? Maybe from up there, I guess. But it's just here chilling. About to go down too, I think. I don't know. Anyhow, let's keep going on this trail.
So I made it to the castle. The path that I was on takes you right here to the ca to the castle from the Hilton. And there's a gentleman here. He's staying at the castle. Hello. He's taking a bath. Not bad. <laughs> and this is his fifth time up here. Yeah. He's staying in the hammock. But he said we could take a look inside the castle just so I can show you guys what it's what it's like. So I'm gonna do that. So this is going in. Thank you to Mike for letting us check this out. This one's a lot cleaner than the Hilton. But yeah, this one's this one's awesome. And he's staying outside. He says there is mice in here. And that's what some people do, but it looks like there's another little room in there with another stove. Awesome, man. Old. Old stuff. But this one's quite a bit cleaner and it looks like there's water that goes to his bathtub. Awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> I creep up on freaking Michael. Taking a bath. <laughs> He's got music playing and stuff when I get here so I don't feel him. Trying to be polite. But this dude wants to get out of the bath and shut his music off. And his nuts are hanging out <laughs> holy shit anyhow really nice guy i'm gonna make my way back maybe have another shot or two and uh get a fire cranking i want to mike want to talk a little bit but kind of get back so that jeff doesn't think i died somewhere <laughs> but uh catch back up with you at camp. Jeff and I just had dinner. I ate the the two person version. Look at this shit. It's at control and they all smell the same. Jeff had chili mac. And I had stroganoff noodles. I have a decent buzz rolling. Jeff's working on his. And I think we're gonna light a fire inside. We got a lot of wind coming up the canyon. So maybe we'll just light it inside and take the party inside when the sun goes down. That's the sun situation. It's 7.15. The review. Getting a fire cranking. Jeff's had some whiskey. I've had some whiskey. I'm trying to drink water. Too. But I think tonight we're gonna have a lot better night than last night, or at least me, with the wind and everything else going, but we're just chilling. Well, it's about 6.30 Saturday morning. Jeff and I just got up, a little brisk outside. The dang mice in here woke me up a few times and one of them came running out of the kitchen. It was a big bastard. Anyhow, can't wait to sleep in my bed tonight. That's what it looks like outside. Jeff got some fire cranking. All right, so Jeff and I just had breakfast, packed up our stuff, and I'm gonna walk up to the water tank and fill up. There's a gallon jug I'm gonna fill up, so if anybody else shows up here today, tomorrow, next week, they've got some water when they get here. And I'm gonna fill up my little 
life straw water bottle and then we'll be headed down the hill i think tired of eating those mountain house meals can't wait to get home and shower and use a real bathroom <laughs> anyhow catch up with you guys when we're heading down the hill all right we filled up my life straw and this one gallon jug so the next people come and got some water look how beautiful it is sun shining sun feels so good we're ready to roll. Well, it's 8.30. We got water. Put a guard on our fire. And what cleaned up and left what we could leave. And I think we're getting ready to head out of here. Jeff is texting or using the Garmin to let his wife know we're on the descent. Goodbye, Hilton. And downhill we're going to go. Jeff trying to come down. It's really tricky coming down versus going up without busting your head. We're at our next dilemma. I'm just trying to figure out how to get down this without peeling my toenails off. But look at this canyon, man, just straight up. Freaking granite. Over here's better. I made Jeff stop and I put my flip flops on. Couldn't couldn't stand it anymore. I was in pain. Rah. We are getting close to the end. What are you about three hours in, Jeff? What time is it? Oh your your watch is in. Eleven fifty five, so we're a little over. We left at eight forty. Nine, ten. Yeah, a little over three hours. It's all right, took a couple breaks. We ain't got the pace we had because my feet are jacked up. Bruh. We are getting close. 
I remember this when we pulled in the parking lot, so we are close to the end of this adventure. Still trudging along in my flippy floppies. Yep. It's all right. Well, there's the trail. Okay, and we signed in at. Yes. How's it going? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sign out of this bad boy. Gentleman pet. Right there. Well, Jeff and I freaking did it. Up and back. Unfortunately, Jeff has work now. And I'm gonna chill out. so good to sit in this air-conditioned truck. Jeff and I are done and made it. And I mosey out of here and this road is horrible. I can't believe I actually have my truck on this road, but it is a truck. I can't wait to get on some pavement. I can't wait to see my wife and kids. My pups. And most importantly, I can't wait to see my bed on the ground the last two days back there. anyways thank you guys for watching sorry this isn't a falcon video but uh one is coming trust me <laughs>